Thank you, Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> and thanks to our panelists for being here. Uh, Mississippi's home to one of the largest U.S. nuclear power reactors at Grand Gulf in Port Gibson, Mississippi, and so nuclear energy is very important to Mississippi. It's not that far from my house. I have church members who work there and tell me about it all the time. But uh, Dr. Huff, this one is for you. Throughout the past decade, nuclear energy has proven to be one of the lowest cost and most reliable energy sources, things that we've talked about, utilized by the U.S. electric grid. And as we have discussed, the war in Ukraine has made it even more urgent that we reduce our dependence on Russia's enriched uranium. In your testimony, you talked about doing just that. However, this administration has made it clear its hesitancy in doing so. Given that is still that has not sanctioned Russian uh, uranium, unlike oil, the petroleum products, natural gas, or the coal. And I am of the mind that it's critical we cut off all Russian imports, including uranium, as been discussed by many of my members here. The U.S. should strengthen its domestic nuclear fuel supply chain and again establish itself as a global energy leader. What is stopping the U.S. from eliminating its reliance on Russian in the nuclear energy area. Senator, thank you so much for, for your support of nuclear energy in general, but also for this question. I think it's important and nuanced, and you're absolutely right that we must stop infusing the Russian government with the resources from purchases of uranium. However, it takes a while, a few years, to stand up new fuel cycle capacity to replace the capacity that we currently import from Russia. And uh, we have only a finite amount of inventory available inside this country, and so um, that we want to make sure that the timing is appropriate, such that we have incentivized the expansion of that fuel cycle capacity at the same time as pairing it with import restrictions. So these two must be paired in order to make the timing work out because it will take longer to stand up new capacity than the resources we have on hand to ensure that our continued, uh, that to ensure the continued operation of our existing nuclear power plants without fuel disruption. And so what we need is a pairing of the import restrictions and uh, incentives for that fuel cycle capacity to be stood up. 